Birmingham New Street. Just outside Birmingham New Street Station. I'm going to do it walk through my eyes in and around Birmingham. There's the ball ring right outside the train station. I will cut back and then we'll walk down near the rag market and near Chinatown and uh, into around the rag market yeah so yeah I'll cut back so if you are looking to go to the rag market in Birmingham it's opposite TK Maxx you will see some steps go down the steps down there Sorry, people not looking up. Now we're outside the rag market, the indoor market in Birmingham. In Chinatown. Got Ladbrokes down there, Savers, a few restaurants, got Boring on the left. market. Let's look at another section here. This part is where all the fish and food is. And then you've got this part where all the stalls are. It's just a quick walk through. I'm speed walking today, so fast, fast video. Fast paced video, should I say. Might slow down in a minute. We've got a travel lodge as well just down here, outside the rag market, and we're heading now, we're going to take a right and head up towards um, Chinatown. Near to her street. So, Just bear with me. So to get to her street, Chinatown, the gay quarter, we'll take a right here. Chinatown, Arcadian, through that those red barriers there. I'll cut back. So, start of Chinatown, Ibis Hotel. Chung Ying Restaurant. China Court Restaurant. Plenty of restaurants around here. And as we head up here, on the right there's a casino, Jenkins Casino, just up there. 
you've got Radisson Hotel up there. Very tall building. One of the tallest in Birmingham. Happy Lamb Hot Pot Restaurant. Uncle Cake Restaurant. The Arcadian Centre. So yeah, we'll bear left and we'll be in to her street, the gay quarter. As you can see, colours. That coffee house there used to be glamorous. People know Birmingham, never remember that. Gay bar, brilliant bar. And now we're heading up to Her Street. A lot of uh, clubs and pubs, bars have closed down along here. Compared to back in the day, it was booming. The gay quarter has definitely declined. So we've got the dragon in there. A lot of restaurants. Um, we've got a test which rests down here on the right. And there's also two cash points. So you can take out free cash. Doesn't charge you. Um, so that's, that's decent. If you need money and you're spending to plan a night out down Hurst Street. You've got two cash machines at Tesco Express just here on the right. And then on the left here, we have the missing bar. It's a gay bar, brilliant bar. there at Tesco Express and there's missing sorry about the wind missing some more restaurants Head down here, show you some other bars. Got a sidewalk over there. That's an alright place to go. Good music on the weekend. Sidewalk. And this barbecue buffet place used to be Route 66, if anybody remembers that. That was a brilliant place. Free drinks on Monday, if anyone remembers. At Sidewalk, decent bar. So yeah, where it says barbecue buffet, the Medusa Lounge there used to be Route 66. We've also got the Nightingale Club just up there on the right. And now we're heading to the Village Inn. One of the most popular bars in on Hurst Street is the Village Inn. Now, since all these bars have closed down, it's not the same as it used to be. And I think anybody knows who goes on the gay scene within Birmingham, they will know that it's changed. 
now. There used to be another pub right there at the end of the road called Eden, Eden Bar. That closed down. That was a brilliant bar. Years and years ago, we'd start at the Eden Bar and then work our way up to from the village, then missing, then go to the Nightingale, then head to DV8, then go to Sheik. But everything's closed these days. The Gale's still open. I'm not too sure about Sheik anymore, whether that's still open. I don't even think that's open anymore. However, DV8 closed down a long time ago. People that remember will remember that DV8 on Thursday was pay for your entry and you get free drinks all night. Once the new law come out, um, that they're not allowed to give free drinks anymore, like for a set fee, DV8 failed, because that used to be heaving back in the day on Thursday. Absolutely heaving. So, yeah, that used to be the Eden Bar there, that white building. Um, brilliant bar, had a pool table in there and everything. Now, let's see how good people do remember. There used to be a bar here on the right as well. If anyone remembers that, that used to be called the Core. You can't see it because of these barriers in the way, but there used to be a bar here called the Core. Also, so yeah, look, I'm sorry about the wind blowing. Um, but I'm just giving you a tour of Her Street, Chinatown just showing you where the rag market is so if no one's been here before they can find their way around. So I'm going to cut back. So we're now at the Fountain Inn. This is on just the outskirts of Chinatown. This is a hotel and bar. Another brilliant bar. Still going strong. Cheaps are reasonably priced. And then just outside the Fountain Inn we have the Ibis Budget Hotel. This is a very cheap hotel, cheap rooms. The one in Chinatown, the Ibis Hotel, that's more expensive. Um, and the rooms here at the Ibis Budget is very small rooms, but there are plenty of places to stay if you want to have a night out in Birmingham and you don't want to drive back home because you want to drink. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. It's a quick video today. Um, but the trains are delayed, so I need to get back. So yeah, I will do a better one next time, more slow one, better quality, a bit more information. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I will appreciate that. Thank you very much.